your it will be smooth so i don't see any more questions in the chat box uh, we still have two minutes time maybe okay. a quick question if somebody still wants to know something from ma'am please come up with your question i would like to thank dr jasmine for a very valuable session in a very simple words in the 60 minutes of talk you have covered everything from a to z I know research is the ocean is there, definitely, but you have given us a thought see how the we as an students, as an colleagues, as an all the every person has got to thinking see what they should do in their research plan. Thank you, Dr. Jasmine. Uh, thank you for all this information. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much, sir. So dear friends, research is all about following the SOPs. Please follow the SOP it will be very very easy thank you thank you <coughs> and now i would like to welcome our next speaker of the day professor silverio de rocca dr de rocca is the founding director of the mpr international school he is a doctor dentist and postural therapy expert specializing in craniofacial orthopedics and posturology for over 40 years, he has worked internationally throughout the America and Europe in parallel to his teaching within the MPR International School, which has been operating globally with international workshops and online courses since 2005. Silverio Di Rocca has completed his graduation in dentistry, post graduation in functional orthopedics, both from the University of Illinois. Paris, that is Argentina. He has also done a degree in dentistry and prosthetics in the University of Turin, Italy, and a doctorate in dentistry and prosthetics at the University of Turin, Italy. He is vice president, international representative, and founder of API Swiss International Association of Postulology, Switzerland. He is also a professor in Amokek, diplomat in Mexico and Comel College of Dentistry in Mexico, Associate Professor in International College of Orthopedic Medicine, Milan, Italy, and an international honorary member of AMOCOAC. He is author of the book RMP Rehabilitation, that is the myofunctional postural, currently continuing the teaching of the holistic MPR approach to students from around the world. We welcome you, Dr. D. Rocca, in the, our MDP program. Thank you for your concern and for your valuable time. We know there is a time gap from the Switzerland and the India is there. And, uh, and I find it out you are a passionate educationist. Okay, I know the D. Rocca from the 2013 is my teacher and he teaches from, a, from the heart, I would say. Thank you, Dr. Rocca, for giving your consent for this MPP program. Thank you, Dr. Rocca. Thank you so much. Uh, I think you, you listen well on my voice. Uh, and uh, thank you for your invitation. Yeah, Thank you for your invitation. I am very happy to be with you, one of my my students around the world. Okay, and then uh, you grow and grow a lot in your career. I am very happy for that. Okay, today I I will uh, try to introduce uh, in physiotherapy something very. I don't think it's new, but it's a new concept uh, in uh, um, rehabilitation, and uh, I will share the presentation and then we can start the the topic uh, together all right okay i think uh, now you see in the presentation and uh, i i would like to, to 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 start saying thank you so much for inviting me in uh, that fantastic uh, university uh, I, I like uh, to teach, you know that, uh, Shagun. I teach with my heart for every, every, every part of the world. And today I will talk uh, about uh, something very important 
for uh, for your uh, for your um, point of view for the physiotherapist for rehabilitation uh, is the way is the coming into the instrumental diagnosis sometimes uh, we do clinical approach this presentation will be very very deep clinically i will show a lot of patients a lot of things uh, that uh, for rehabilitated people will be very very important and um, in the clinical posturometry is uh, instrumental diagnosis. But uh, before I start to this, uh, let me introduce the whole concept. Uh, because if it's not, it's very difficult to understand. That is my little CV. It's a little resume uh, in my CV. And um, we start uh, with uh, a mandatory question. That is for all people, not only for people who do rehabilitation. And it's uh, who has not had a patient like this and never failure? I will show you the patients. Look at patient for every day, patient for rehabilitation. How we treat it? Very important question. Yeah? All these patterns we see always in our practice, every single day. Neurological integration of the body. And even patient with anatomic problems, patient with um, real scoliosis, and imagine that all these patients we see, we see a lot of them every single day in our clinical practice. Uh, patients like this, adults, child, elderly patients, a lot of patients with problems, a lot of surgeries, I think, uh, in, surgery for nothing eh, because we don't treat uh, the physiological way the patients eh, scoliosis look at that every one of us every day has a patient like this but uh, who failure in the treatment sometimes but we ever wonder why eh? why we failure and the answer is because uh, we don't use the same diagnostic and therapeutic point of view in all health sciences. We don't realize through interdiscipline. That's the main problem we have in the treatments. And uh, if we are a physio, uh, think about that and eh? the, the next pictures I will show you. Eh? We do something like this every time. And uh, if we are osteopaths with the only manipulation, and most of them, if we are dentists, eh, we put, uh, we put uh, appliances for everybody, not more. Eh? We never see the totally body together. Eh? And patients, all of them, more or, or less follow the same path. This is a little picture, a very nice picture, Madame Rose. But Madame Rose can be every patient who has pain, follow a lot of disciplines, and the end is like this. After that, coming back with the pain, and discipline said, in my point of view, she is okay. Why? She suffer. And uh, every day we see that. Every day we see in all medical sciences, relapsing patients who come in psychiatry with a lot of medicines. And I think because 
we don't see the patients in the whole body in a real interdiscipline. And uh, we can understand each other if we cannot understand each other if we don't speak the same language. That's the key, to speak the same language. In medical science, I am talking. We have to, to speak the same language. We have to speak as the other can understand. That's the only way. We develop international networks in our school, the NPR International School, every part of the world who, with professionals who speak the same languages in diagnosis and therapy. That's the goal. And uh, we create teams for work in the whole medical sciences, working together, talking together, speaking the same language. And now I would like to introduce the presentation now. What is posture anyway? Posture, static posture, is important science that we have to learn the way the human body orients and maintains itself in a space, but need muscles to do that. And we work every single day with muscles. Central nervous systems is creating the basic muscle tone to have a good posture and a good posture is symptom of good health that's it's a good indicator of health the tonic postural system the tonic postural system is a cybernetic system that have receptors that send information for the central nervous system and then the central computer eh, synthetically say eh, is elaborating the muscle tones and is creating a circle in the middle of that and that is important thing i want to tell all of you craniofacial system is a big disturber when this dysfunctional is a big disturber to the posture and we never know that dentists work alone they don't see the body the other disciplines think they understand craniofacial system, but they not. And the integration is to have a good function. That particular part of our body is very important. Craniofacial system disturbing the whole body. I will try to explain later, and I try to explain how to measure that and how to have a good rehabilitation if you follow the steps. Adaptation. Human being create this system to walk in the life. This system have uh, receptors, eyes, feet in the middle, the mandibular position. That means craniofacial system disturbing the muscle chain. And I am asking how we can think we can do a good physical rehabilitation if this particular system is disturbing the muscles every single moment. It is impossible. That's why sometimes treatments, treatment, release. There is not only do techniques. Techniques are, are important, I know that. We cannot work without techniques, but we need diagnosis and we need to understand how is the function of this system. Yeah? The feet, another big receptor of the posture, and the jaw position. Jaw position, when it's not centrated, is creating a lot of problem into muscle change. And imagine for you, physio, osteopaths, rehabilitators, you are doing techniques and you don't take care this evil that is craniofacial system. 
that is disturbing your job every single minute in the life of the patient. The eyes, another oculomotor system, vision and mobility. That's posturology. Multiple sim systems are involved. That means we cannot work alone. It's impossible. We have to have interdiscipline. Interdiscipline with the same protocol. That's why myofunctional postural rehabilitation, born many years ago, 40 years ago, interdisciplinary protocol every medical science working together with the same protocol with the same point of view that's the key for good rehabilitation yeah? holistic balance holistic balance is important but we can have a holistic balance if all medical sciences work together and if all medical science have the same protocol for work. In our concept, we said, program, rehabilitate, and then reprogram. If we can take it out, the aggression momentarily, all of you can have a good physical rehabilitation because nothing interferes. That is the programming. And then after rehabilitation, every specialty will reprogram the things that need it. Holistic interdiscipline, that is the key. And the key is also prevention in the child. When the child are growing, that's the way to start the work. That's why it's important medical doctors, pediatricians, etc., working with this protocol. Yeah? We have in the protocol clinical diagnosis, instrumental diagnosis, and complementary diagnosis. So today I will talk about instrument diagnosis, that is posturometry. That is very important for you because when you miss you, you are transforming the clinical opinion in science because you see with an objective instrument that's important, objective instrument, the way to do diagnosis, clinical and instrumental. The NPR protocol is, I try to show you very simple. Eh? What is NPR? Eh? NPR is a diagnostic and therapeutic method that use tools of different disciplines. And the purpose is to obtain the balance between craniofacial system and the tonic postural system. If we do that, we will have good rehabilitations, an easy rehabilitation, because we will work without interferences. That's the goal in NPR. NPR protocol is active because it's adapting to any evolution of the patient is integrated because all disciplines working together interdisciplinary because we have all medical science working in the protocol and npr is the tool and is myofunctional because it's working with the physiological neuromuscular musculoskeletal balance it's postural because rehabilitates stomatognatic system and the rest of the body and rehabilitation because rebalance the whole system. That's the key. What is healthy posture and how is it measured? We do clinical tests. We observe eh, planes eh, and different tests eh, in our body, that's I cannot explain in one hour how is the diagnosis, but this is a particular diagnosis in clinical. And planes, when muscle chains are with no hyperactivity or hypoactivity, that planes are parallel between them 
hand between the floor. Good indications. Torsion. The head movement. The oculomotor system. Convergence, one of the main receptors. That is clinically. Yeah? How interfere the jaw position with the, the oculomotricity and the foot support? With all this diagnosis and plus the instrumental diagnosis, we can have a good integrated diagnosis. The foot support. Foot support is, you know very well, Kepanji, you are physiotherapist. Kepanji study how the body weight was distributed in each foot in three points. Calcaneus, first metatarsus, and fifth metatarsus in this percent. And we create a triangle, a triangle of balance. If we trace the bicep traces of the triangle, we found the very center of the foot. And we have two disciplines working together, posturology and posturometry. Posturology is a medical science that study the static posture of the body. And posturometry is the medical science that measure the posture. Measure is important because we can imagine we are going well in our treatment, but when you miss you, you really see if we are going for the right way or not. Posturometry, very important. Yeah? The study of the posture. If we study the posture for many, many years and we miss you. And the posturometer is uh, a very good instrument to make diagnosis, planning a treatment and mainly follow a treatment and also with this we can do sensorial rehabilitation. That's the posturometer. The posturometer has software who measure the posture with the concept of Kepanji. The posturometer have sensors, have sensors that send the information to the computer and we have software who measure, okay? We measure the percent eh, of the body weight that is arriving to each part of Kapanji and also the overload to the right, to the left. We can study the very center of the body. We can study the mass tone. We can study with the I create a protocol, a clinical protocol for this instrument that allow us to make a very good diagnosis of a lot of things. Obviously, instrument without medical protocol is nothing. It's mathematic, no more. The posturometer is an objective instrument for mission, okay? for interdisciplinary diagnosis. We can study with the instrumental diagnosis a lot of things in our work. Clinically and instrumental, we can study the oculomotor system, postural analysis, stomatognatics analysis, and food support. Yeah? Posturometry is an excellent instrument for diagnosis of neuromusculoskeletal dysfunction. But it's important because we transform our clinical opinion in science. And that in medicine is important. Because if it's not, it's only imagination. And both have to work together. We cannot do only instrumental diagnosis. We need to have a clinical diagnosis and instrumental diagnosis. That is 100% good diagnosis and we see the changes eh? look at here we are testing the mouth 
and look at how it's changing immediately when the patient closes the mouth changes the body changes the body postural change and you can see that with an instrument but we can measure a lot of things look at here changing the weight changing the body weight distribution we can study a lot of things with them. We can study the vision. We can study the foot support. We can study how we can measure our treatments, the muscle tones, the balance of our treatment, etc., etc. And it's important in rehabilitation. The body center. We study the body center of the body. Eh? If we go, we study there three values. Eh? We study the oscillation of the body, the position of the body center, and with the cover of the body center, we can see the muscle tone. Higher is the value, is, hyper, is hypotone. Less is the value, is hypertone. Hypertone. Imagine, if you're doing a treatment, and you want, with the treatment, relax the muscles. If you miss you before and after, you can see if you obtain the result. The speed variation, eh, the comfort of the body, we can see if our treatment gives comfort or not for the body. The relation of for the oscillation, we can see here one of the things we can study is balance if the people have more oscillation lateral than sagittal maybe it's a neurological problem in the equilibrium we can see a lot a lot of things with a simple instrument and a good protocol for that eh? and also the muscle tone the area and this uh, posturometer is based in the concept of Kapanji. Yeah? It's three point three sensors of the foot. We studied many years ago how, uh, I'm saying 30 years ago, I did a research to study how the interferences of the occlusion can affect the foot support. Imagine, this can affect the foot contact in the anterior area of the mouth can affect the first metatarsus contacts in the lateral area of the mouth we call that occlusal plane affect the fifth metatarsus less load in this area and the, when we have in the back part of the teeth pre-contact, it will affect the calcaneus. Imagine the connection between the whole body and then we can treat only sectorial. It's impossible, believe me. I tell you my experience for more than 50 years. It's impossible to do that. That's the schema. And in another way, that's the schema. Look at there. We have pre-contact there, losing in the first metatarsus, the load. This less load may be, is indicated a uh, pre-contact in the teeth. And how you can do a rehabilitation if the mouse is disturbing your body? And you can can you imagine that it will not relapse? It will relapse because you don't annulate. And I will show you how physio can annulate. Very simple that. Very very simple. I invented the device for physios. I will show you later to use the physios, not only dentists, to use the physio to annulate the craniofacial system. Yeah, look at that. That is the effect of the pre-contact. And we can go for each part of the body. 
each part of the body is affecting the posture. And uh, look at here. Two missiles, body with the mouth open and the mouth closed. Look at the torsion. From here to here. How you can avoid that? Only with manipulation, only with physiotherapy, only with insults, only with what? If you do not annulate the mouth, if you do not annulate the craniofacial system, it is impossible. We can study the oculomotor system, we can study a lot of things, eh? the craniofacial system. That's the thing I try to teach, not only for rehabilitation, but for dentists, because dentists are doing very bad jobs looking only teeth. We are changing that mentality in our school. We do formation to avoid these problems. And look at that. The eyes are working with monosynaptic pathway and they have two functions, vision and movement. That means refraction and oculomotricity, one of the main receptors of the postural tonic system. Look at that. Lateral deviation of the mouth, of the jaw, and forward or retro position will affect the eye's movement. The lateral deviation affects, imagine the connection with jaw position, eyes, and posture. Lateral deviation affects uh, unilaterally the convergence. Convergence, we mean peripheral vision. If we lose the peripheral vision, our body adapt. And jaw is affecting that. And also in forward or retro position is affecting bilateral hypoconvergence. And we see you clinical cases. Look at here. The mouth with that deviation is affecting one eye, uh, affecting the overload of uh, the body for one side. The same here. Overload. But forward or retro position is affecting both eyes. It's not overloading the body laterally but it's changing the body center, forward or back. Imagine the jaw position, how it's affecting muscle change. And we want to work with muscle change with that interferences, it's crazy. <laughs> That's why some therapist relieves. And we have to, and we think we're changing techniques that will be better. It's not, it's the diagnosis who is wrong. Look at here. Oculomotricity, that's the test. A mouse always is connecting with that. Oculomotricity, posture, a mouse. Oculomotricity, I call that patient Robocop, my Robocop. A lot of surgery because has pain in lumbar, one surgery, more pain, more surgery, more pain, more surgery. A life of surgery and nobody see the integrated diagnosis. As you see, all medical science make mistakes. Hyperconvergence, functional scoliosis. 90% of your scoliosis is functional, not anatomical. And it's related with this dysfunction where we affect in the muscle change and the, this column adapt, making adaptation. And how? Deviation of the jaw, how affect? Peg mobility and muscle change and chronically affecting chronic pain, TMJs. Sometimes I see all around the world saying I'm a specialist in TMJs. That's very wrong. TMJs is part of the craniofacial system. 
it's not just the join we have to be a specialist in the whole system not just in the tmjs tmjs is just part of one system connected through the yoida system with the rest of the body we cannot see i am we cannot say i am a specialist in the in the tmjs it's not it's not right it's very wrong all connected not just tmjs and how the job position affect the muscle chain when the job position is wrong is increasing the pressure into the temporal mandibular joint that's dangerous and the only defense central nervous system have is bruxisms bruxisms is not a disease it's a very bad defense because central nervous system said teeth are blocking the bad position i have to destroy the teeth bruxisms start during the night creating a lot of problems because it's creating a lot of muscle hyperactivity and chronically postural alteration. That's the way. And you don't annulate that, you can never will have a good physical rehabilitation. Okay? When pressure increase, central cestus, central nervous system say dangerous, danger for the TNJs, proxisms. That is the way proprioception alarm you're the system connection don't forget ever that the you system is connecting upper part of the body with the lower part and something to start on the top slowly slowly can arrive to the foot and vice versa something for the foot can arrive to the top all is connected. Blue systems is a defense from TMJs. When it's danger, defending the TMJs. Very bad defense. But it's the only one central nervous system has. Blue systems, domino effect, chronic pain, injury. We absolutely have to stop that. Common misconception is that bruxism is caused by distress. No, that's wrong. Bruxism, chronically, it can cause stress, but it's not caused by the stress. Bruxism increase depression into the craniofacial sutures. Sometimes it's creating functional asymmetries, moving the sutures. If you see that, that position, you see, retroposition is affecting muscles. A lot of muscles, cranial muscles, a lot. And slowly, 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 this retroposition is going, affecting neck and cranial muscle, and slowly, slowly, is going down, blocking first and second vertebra. And imagine, you can unblock it. Yes, you can, but it's blocking again, because the, the jaw in bad position is creating more hyperactivity. It's impossible. To work permanently if you don't annulate that situation and slowly slowly it's going down and down it's going to the neck it's going to the grand dorsal from then is arriving here some problems there is related with bruxisms and then slowly slowly going to this deeply and going down to lumbars and we go to the arriving to the foot and eh? connecting body is connected remember that please eh? and scoliosis is we say a functional scoliosis most of the time 
most of the time is functional scoliosis. Real scoliosis is very 5% of the scoliosis. Most of them is connected with the foot support, uh, craniofacial system dysfunction, biochemistry, that means alimentation, intoxication of the body, who is affecting the muscle change also. I will show you some clinical cases. Look at this, lateral deviation, and look at how it's increasing eight kilos when the patient closed the mouth. Imagine, every single day, eight kilos more when mouth is closed. It's creating the compression of the TMJs chronically is creating damage into the TMJs. TMJs treatment is not only massage or manipulation. <laughs> this is symptomatic treatment. The real treatment is avoid the problem directly. That means annulate the teeth momentarily, centrate the jaw, and then it's okay. Look at that. Eh? DMJs with problem, jaw position, hypoconvergence, and block it. It's a lot of patient I can show you with the same pattern of craniofacial dysfunction. The formation of the jaw, that's the future of the jaw when we have increasing depression and it's affecting directly the neck and how you unblock the neck yes you can unblock the neck eh? but with hyperactivity of the muscles very strong manipulation if you relax the craniofacial system your treatment will be easy better and permanent and you can measure that with posturometer the jaw, always, jaw is present, always, always jaw position is present. And measuring, we see what happened. A lot of patients who have this problem, eh, who have symptoms, a lot of symptoms related with the, not with TMJs, with cranial, Facial dysfunction and postural dysfunction. All of them are related. That age is the age of uh, prevent. In that moment, if we start, we prevent to do not arrive like this as an adult. Adaptive scoliosis is related with these dysfunctions. Sometimes we have an anatomical problem, a real short leg. If you see a lot of patients who suffer postural alteration is related with all these things I am telling you and how we can work alone. It is impossible. We are doing only symptomatic treatment. We don't go to the root of the problem, and we need to go to the root of the problem. As you see, and I can show you thousands of patients. I have 50 years working. And this year, I, I have 50 years, uh, 50 years in medical science working, uh, in July. July, 50 years working, plus six of university. 56 years, and I saw a lot of patients in my career with this problem. But because we don't investigate this, we are only doing symptomatic treatment. Look at that. We have a lot of patients with the same particular problem. A lot. A lot is involved. Look at this patient who have a postural plane alteration, 
upper and lower problem. We study the whole body. Yeah, I am showing now quickly in a roughly one hour presentation. I try to show you how we do that in our in our diagnosis. No, our diagnosis showing some part of the treatment. Yeah. And that's a body interposition. Oculomotor system affected. Always we see that. Foot support. Adaptation. Most of the foot is adaptation. And I see a lot of people who immediately put in soles. That's wrong also. We study the whole body. Look at the mouse. Lateral deviation. And look at the posture. When the mouse is open, three kilos. When the mouse is closed, increase to 4.5. Measuring is showing that. If it's not, it's imagination. Look at patients with the same pattern. We study the whole body always in our clinical study. Yeah? The symptomatology, patient with headache, neck pain, muscle pain, dizziness, and TMJ click, all related with postural dysfunction. Look at that, hypoconvergence. And look at here, the mouse. As you see, all is related. Look at here, open mouse, increasing and torsion. In the stabilometry also, we can measure a lot of things with the posturometer. Eh? It is impossible in one hour to explain the diagnosis of posturometer. I want to show you that it's possible to do that. And uh, the torsion, eh? the torsion of the body, the torsion of the body. We need to cancel that. And uh, 25 years ago, I invent, I invent some device for annulate that. And it's used it for all medical sciences, medical doctors, physiotherapists, osteopath, dentists also. Everybody can use it. it, call it I call it that bed because it's not a bite. It's a craniofacial system. The programming call it body equilibrium device. Only one size device you can adaptate for, for any single patient. You can manipulate in the mouse directly and you annulate one of the biggest disturbers in the posture. Annulating the stress of the craniofacial system, the bed, body equilibrium device is a very important device and for physio is very important. Cancel out the craniofacial system interferences. Eh? Very simple. With hot water, you can manipulate it, you can adapt it, and then you can use it. Very, very simple. Annulating the muscle area, different part of the device for tongue rehabilitation, muscle rehabilitation, proprioceptive rehabilitation, etc. Simple device, only one size. Look at here, clinical cases. All, also in sport, you imagine an expertise that uh, is creating, is losing performance. Eh? I did a research, uh, I think it was 50 years ago, one of the research, annulating the mouse to see if it's improving. Is improving. Eh? We do that, all of them annulating the mouse is improving the performance of the body. More muscle function in the body. Annulating the mouse, eh? 
annihilating this situation. Yeah? Deprogramming the jaw. We call that jaw deprogramming, mandibular deprogramming. And look at here how it's changing from four kilos to 1.2. Patients suffering a lot. Look at the face after annihilating. And look at the body. Zero unbalance. Patients who TMJ is problem. We, we need to work with them. After, look at here how the mouse are, yeah? I make a mistake. Okay, all right. All right, go with that. Let me go with the mouse. Look at here how we centrate the mouse. How the mouse after the programming is centrated. It's good. Yeah? A lot of patients with these problems, you can help a lot. Your physio can help a lot doing a good job in the craniofacial system, annulating. This is the posture meter measuring. <coughs> and then also making also the rehabilitation in a good way. Okay? Imagine you annulate the interferences and how you can work better. And measuring is very good because you know, look at after the programming, zero and balance. You can see if your work is going well or no, and you can have a good diagnosis. In conclusions, uh, it's uh, important to know the physiological connection within the body. The negative role of craniofacial system dysfunction on the neuromuscular chains is forgotten in physical rehabilitation. The treatment of choice is always holistic diagnosis and interdisciplinary therapy. In rehabilitation, it is necessary to cancel the negative effect in order to carry out good therapy that lasts over time. The therapy of choice is osteopathy and physiotherapy together. That's why we started a master in, in osteopathy. We call it postural osteopathy for physiotherapists. Postural osteopathy eh, to work in this way. Just not manipulation. Eh? Theory and practice. Eh? We do the practice in one fantastic island, it's Canaria Island, eh? Eh, with a very good sanction. Eh? We enable for all medical science to be ready for postural. Eh? We work, we study a lot of things of, uh, of uh, thinking that master of postural osteopathy. Eh? This is uh, two years master. Eh? And uh, if you have any question later, I will ask the question. But uh, let me show you now the posturometer working in real way. And let me do, because we have time, I think. I, I want to uh, share now. Uh, let me go here and then let me go to share the, then we want to share. I open the, I open the, I open the, posturometer software. Let me one second and I will show you directly how it works. Okay. This is very simple to work with the posturometer. Uh, let me let me share the presentation here. Yeah. Okay. Let me go here. Uh, the posturometer is there. Right. I think you see now the posturometer. Yeah. The posturometer working. Yeah. Let me share the posture meter there, yeah. This is the software <clears throat> we have. Look at here, uh, two thousand four hundred eighty-nine patient measured uh, with more than fifty thousand exams. But we choose one of them, okay? We choose one, and then we have examination here. Yeah, in the software we go into the beginning, and I show you how is working the posture meter. 
You see here the posture, the mouse, and the foot support. And if we go here, we have the three exams together. If we go here, if we go here, imagine. In, in a simple way, we see what is the problem. Look at here. This is the body weight distribution. Four kilos of overload. The triangle here is saying this way. Mouse close and it's better. But it's better the overload. But if you see the body center here was centrated. And here is not. Here is back. And this is the foot support. We're trying to be better. We can analyze any single, single diagnosis. Yeah. Yeah. And here, let me let me go a little bit down with this with the zoom. Okay. You have here three exams. The body center of the body, three examinations. And the foot support. Imagine here in the foot support. That is the oscillation of the foot. And if you see all trays are in superposition, we said in that case that uh, we have there good receptor. But if you see here, the body center is centrated. But here is varus. The oscillation is good, same oscillation, and we can analyze these values also. And look at here the mouse. The, the green one is the mouse. The mouse is trying to centrate the position, but it's making the body center back. In our point of view, that situation is a retroposition of the jaw. And you can measure that. And you can measure the torsion of the body, the grease of the torsion of the body. And you can measure a lot, a lot of things here. This one is in a cloud. Eh? This one is in a cloud. Eh? And you can see how was the registration, the movement of the sensor, you see, because it records them. And it's there, and you can analyze. We can share for everybody around the world with our our team and yeah, we can share the exams and and i show you more because we have time i show you more 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 examination okay and here the first three exams of diagnosis yeah, we go here click and we have always here look at here this case 10 kilos of overloaded posture nine kilos of uh, overload in the mouse six kilos the foot here the problem may be is the occlusion body center is always the body center of the foot you can analyze in any patients you can analyze the study you can repeat the exams every time you want and you can see every time you want the examination and imagine in, in physiotherapy if you want to go here here is the very center area, the area who cover. Imagine we are doing a therapy now, yeah? uh, and uh, this is the posture, and this is your therapy. Yeah? Okay. If, uh, the, if we want uh, to create a hyperactivity, after the treatment, this value has to decrease. When we have less value, more hyperactivity one of the things with this one we can we can do proprioception rehabilitation with the patient in person in clinic that is a good uh, instrument for all medical sciences and mainly for rehabilitation people okay and uh, we're going now to the to the conclusion yeah okay let me let me go here uh, let me go to the presentation to the presentation of okay all right i am here and uh, if you have any questions i am here now okay yes we have time for question if you like okay okay tell me 
if there's any question I can answer, I can answer any question for you, right? Directly, you can write down your questions on the chat box. Let me see if I see any question there. Let me go to the chat box. Let me go here. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for the presentation. I see there. Yeah. And he's saying, I want to present it. Thomas Mayer's theory of myofascial lines for muscular field or a different mechanism. The, the mechanisms of our school is a, a different mechanism. You, we are talking about uh, the holistic concept, you know, as you see, that's why I, I start the presentation with uh, before, uh, with, uh, the, uh, with, the, with the posturology, because uh, if we understand posturology, we can understand the diagnosis. Uh, and uh, we study the whole body dysfunction, not just the muscle dysfunction, and how is arriving the muscle dysfunction, you know? Yeah, the muscle dysfunction is a consequence of something who is not working well. And in my experience of many, many years, one of the most disturber of the muscles is when craniofacial system is disturbing. Don't forget it. I, I tell you my experience of 50 years and nobody take care on it. Nobody take care how to annulate that system to have a good physical rehabilitation. It's one part in our school, in our master, I told you before, one part is how to annulate the craniofacial system because if you don't annulate this, the, the problem is relapsing is coming back again yeah this is the concept but also we have to study the food support we have to study the psyches we have to study the uh, biochemistry of the body uh, that means uh, intoxication of the body because muscles without with the intoxication never work well in our protocol is a holistic diagnosis and holistic concept who are creating problem into the neuromusculoskeletal system all right that is the concept okay thank you i hope uh, you enjoy it's a lot of people who who enjoy the lecture i'm very happy <laughs> okay we are having the one only one unit is there and uh, you have simply explained how the tmj can affect the whole of the musculoskeletal and the system. The TMJ, and the you know, is not related to the, your muscles and bones. Yeah. It has got a very important role from the TMJ. If we can just release the TMJ, definitely we can control the posture. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know that the TMJ is it part. Possible, of, uh, I still have got the instrument body equilibrium. The bed, device. the bed device, the yeah. bed device. And I <laughs> hope, I hope we 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 came back to to India, or oh, maybe you you the people take the master in osteopathy and they came to Canary Island. There's a very good sanction there. <laughs> we can, in the in the medicine medical university we have the practice too, twice a year. <laughs> maybe we can meet together there. Right? Definitely, definitely. After the post COVID, definitely we would. Get yeah, it. yeah, yes, it is. I hope I hope you enjoyed the lecture. I hope was was very useful for all of your participants and, uh, and uh, i am here if it's any more question uh, uh, if it's uh, if it's no we can finish the lecture today now okay yes so the uh, now session is open for the question and answer if anyone has any query you can ask your query with our esteemed speaker Anyone? You can unmute yourself. Do you want to unmute myself? No, no, no sir. So ah, ah, sorry, sorry. Can unmute themselves okay, okay. to ask their query. Yes, yes, if you like, you can talk and they, we can talk together. Yes, no problem. Yes.
So if there will be no qu query and question, then I would like to request uh, the dean, uh, sir, to kindly felicitate our speaker with e momento. Uh, it's my honor to give the e momento to Professor D. Roka. Thank you, uh, Dr. Roka, for giving your valuable guidance and your insights about the TMJ joint and the posturometry. And definitely, we would have a new calibration because now the in Indian new education policy says it should be the interdisciplinary should be there. Yes, and definitely, we would create more and more innovative work with your guidance. Thank you for giving your valuable time. Thank you so much for your invitation, Shagun. You know, I am very happy anytime I come into India. I'm very happy to talk with the Indian people. Uh, thank you so much for your invitation and compliment for your career. Eh? You are growing and growing and growing. I'm very happy one of my students is growing up. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your thank time. You so Participant, if you have any query, you can unmute yourself and ask. I have also po posted the feedback form. Your feedback is uh, very important for us. So kindly also fill out the feedback form and provide your feedback. Thank you. 